All right, everybody, today I'm gonna to give you an awesome recipe to use with a heart. Um, this can be done with any animal heart. This heart that's in front of you now is a deer heart, so let me go ahead and get this prepared and I'll be right back with you. So when the catfish come up, just grab it. Got it. Okay guys, so for this recipe, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm just going to use half of the heart, of the deer heart, so what you want to do is cut the rest of your ingredients in half, so I'm using a half of a sweet onion and half of a garlic clove, so basically uh, about four or five um, garlic cloves, I guess. So you crush those up, as you see here, then you slice your onions up, then you got your half of your deer heart. Next thing you want to do, uh, I would use a full uh, stick of butter for the full heart, but since we're cutting this recipe in half, use just half a stick. And this is salted, by the way, that's the key, salted butter. Now if you can't, you know, eat salt or whatever, you know, you could do regular butter, but this right here really gives a flavor on top of the onions and the garlic. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pour all this ingredients in the pan, set it to medium high, which I'm turning on the stove right now, and you just let it sit and simmer for about a half hour and it'll just caramelize and just be the most delicious thing you've ever ate. The actual deer heart to me is on the top five list of the best pieces of meat or the best things to eat off the deer. So. Um, next time you get a deer, you need to try this. I guarantee you like it. Just wait and see. Okay, so one thing I forgot to mention is, you know, while you're cooking, you just want to make sure you keep your eye on this and steer it every about five minutes or so. Um, it keeps the everything from getting burnt and getting all those extra flavors moved around in there. And uh, this has been about probably five minutes or so. So we're going to keep checking on it every five minutes and it should be done here soon. Um, it smells great. Um, if you like uh, <clears throat> liver and onions, this puts a whole new meaning to it. Um, I'm not a big fan of liver, but I do like the heart. So, All right, we'll check back when we're done here. So here's the finished product. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and leave it on a few more minutes, but as you can see here, the meat is really darkened up, cooked through. The onions and the butter really give this meat some flavor and the garlic. Um, you can season it however you wish, but with the butter already salted, it gives it a really good, super sweet and creamy flavor. Kind of like a gravy it made, but... Um, other than that guys, I mean it turned out great and you know that this can go well with anything, mashed potatoes, uh, you can actually make like a deer heart Manhattan, I mean it just the list goes on and on and it's really good stuff, I mean it just look, it's really tender, butter makes it melt in your mouth. So if you guys like what you see here, uh, you know make sure to give a thumbs up and if you aren't subscribed already make sure you do that and uh, I appreciate you watching our videos as always. We'll see you on the next one.